So most of the keyboards and mouse that I've reviewed on this channel have been over the $15 price point, until this one. This is the Ombar Gaming Keyboard, which sells for $23 on Amazon, link is down below. So far, with the Ombar products that I've featured on this channel, I've been pleasantly surprised. They've all performed better than expected. The only difference with this one is that it's not as comfortable. It performs well and all, I just don't find it as comfortable as the mechanical keyboards, but that's just personal preference. This is a membrane keyboard, by the way. Let's talk about the build quality, and the layout of the actual keys. On the little menu that it comes inside the box, it says the material used is ABS, which is plastic, but a good one. All I know is that this type of plastic is durable, so good job on that. Holding the keyboard, it's very light and you can easily tell it's plastic. It doesn't look or feel the most premium, but it's $23, so I won't go too hard on it. The keyboard layout is like every other keyboard except for the backspace key, the enter key, and the spacebar. Every time I'm typing and I make a mistake, I press the backspace key without looking, except here, I make another mistake because I miss the backspace button since it's a little smaller. It may seem like a small annoyance, but man, this happened way more than I thought. The enter key is also different, this one is bigger than normal, but it doesn't disrupt my typing at all. The spacebar is also bigger than normal, to help with fatigue, but it doesn't negatively affect my typing either. It's only the backspace key that's an issue. One thing overall, the keys are responsive and all, but I'm not a big fan of the feel while pressing the keys. This is just my opinion, and some of you may like the way it feels, which is perfectly fine. I think I don't find it comfortable because I've been using mechanical keyboards like the Ombar keyboard that I have and the Razer Black Widow. On the top side of the keyboard, you have some hotkey shortcuts for File Explorer, Email Calculator, Web Browser, Play, Pause, Volume Up and Down, and Mute. It's a good thing those keys are there since I use them more than I thought I would. The F keys can also do some things, hold function and F1 for backward, F2 for forward, F3 and F4 for RPS minus and RPS plus, which I've never heard of, F5 for calculator, F6 for refresh, F7 and F8 for back page and forward page, F9, F10 and F11 for 20, 60 and 100% brightness for the lighting, this keyboard has lighting by the way and F12 for the breathing lighting mode. Also, if you press function and print screen, game mode will be activated, although I'm not sure what it does. Function plus scroll lock is to turn off the lighting, and function and pause break is to change the color of the lighting. By the way, the rubber cable comes out through the right side, and the bottom of the keyboard does not have those cable routing tunnels. And something I haven't heard about before, drainage holes. Yeah, this keyboard has 8 drainage holes to improve its splash-proof performance. Anti-ghosting is also present for the people who will be gaming with it, which is probably most of you. This keyboard does have lighting, and it's surprisingly good. There are only 3 colors to choose from, red, blue, and purple, and you can only choose between static and breathing lighting modes. You can turn it off if you like. The lighting isn't the best, but it's pretty good in light and especially in the dark. Let's talk about performance. While typing, all the keys I've pressed were registered accurately and there were no mistakes besides the ones I made myself. For those of you who want to hear a sound test, here you go. I've gamed quite a bit with it, and there were no problems with its performance. I was able to move around and do what I need to do with no trouble. It's not the best keyboard, but it is a solid one. If you're just getting into PC gaming and need a budget keyboard, I would recommend this one. This is also a good one to have as a backup for something like the Ombar K676, which I've also made videos on recently. I'm not sponsored or anything, by the way. Anyway, thank you guys for watching and for your support. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like and maybe consider subscribing. Thanks for watching once again, and as always, have a great day.